Hello from 5 video number 37 still about the girl but now we talk about the gold curve of an insect and today our insect will be grasshopper but same as others insect lah, okay and again this is another past year essay use the way the past year essay I show you the question first we will see the question diagram 6.1 show the gold curve of the grasshopper grasshopper the curve 看起来像楼梯, okay. Explain the gold curve of the grasshopper. The gold curve of the grasshopper. So why the gold curve look like this? 为什么它成长的curve 看起来是这种情况的呢? Don't know. Don't know their mind. We follow our notes. 跟着我们的notes. Page number 30. 应该是第三十面了. Okay. Page number 30. 第三十面. Okay, so start the answer for our past year essay, but this answer will be too long. I'm going to give you another shorter version when we go to exercise. Okay, like number one. After the fertilization, the female grasshopper laying the egg in a hole. Okay, that it dig in the damp soil. Why katong patan na chan jing chi la? So the egg crack opens around 10 days. Tan ta fu hua le, ta li tiao le. The names that appear look like the parents, except that it is wingless. So the name of Insta One, Insta One 就是他的幼儿, okay? The name 就是他的幼儿,他的幼儿出来了, without wings, 没有翅膀, or oh, this is Insta One,他的幼儿一了,第一时期,第一期的幼儿, okay? But why we never having the grasshopper like this in our house? Because they are too small, too small, and normally they are under the grass. And normally you never open any grass and look at the insect inside. You usually never open the grass and look at the insect inside. You usually never open the grass and look at the insect inside. You usually never open the grass and look at the insect inside. the grass and look at the insect inside. You usually never open the grass and look at the insect inside. You usually never open the grass and look at the insect inside. the grass and look at the insect the names that appear look like the parents, but it is wingless. Okay, they don't So now, copy on your notes, page number 30. Yeah. The growth curve of the grasshopper, such as a, the growth curve of the insects, such as grasshopper and cockroach, is not sigmoid shape. They are not sigmoid shape. Their shape is not S. Cockroach, for example, cockroach. In my house, we're having three types of cockroach. So I have three types One is a normal kitchen cockroach. Another two, three. In my house, we're having another three. We have three One of them is called Madagascar cockroach. Okay? Another one will be called Dubia. Dubia. Another one is called Dubia. Another one is called Dubia. Another one is called 孩子一样的, so the goal curve of the insect like grasshopper and cockroach is not sigma shape. Sigma but how is the shape? If the shape is not sigma, how we can call the shape like this? And we don't call data stage. Data shapes slow to the same So copy on your notes. The shape will be called a series of steps. 一个系列的 step 1, step 2, step 3, 一步一步好像楼梯走上去 So this is a shape, a series of step shape 啦, 它的形状 OK, so 这个字可能就只一分了的 明白吗? So how is the goal process of the grasshopper or insects 昆虫的长大过程到底是怎样的呢? OK, our example, grasshopper So the goal of the, of the insects and the human is not the same Okay, for our human, we can grow like as smooth. Our curve is just smooth, only look like as hua hua de. Okay, why? Because our body actually say soft. We having the soft tissue. Our tissue is non non de. So we can grow slowly one by one, day by day, zero point zero zero one mm slowly day by day until we become adult. Okay? But the growth of the insect is limited. Due to the what the presence of the hard exoskeletons, because the white color relationship, So how they grow? They can grow suddenly. It grows very quickly. Okay. So how they grow? Copy on your notes. Ah, you copy on your notes. Okay. Like, slowly. Listen to the story. 
So in order to increase their size, insects have to have to first shake their existing exosex skeletons. 如果要成长，它的外皮呢，这一层硬壳呢，一定要丢掉先，老的、小的。And they replace it with a new world, one that is bigger than the existing ones. 然后呢，换成另外一件新的、更大件的衣服了。所以小外壳丢掉，变成更大的外壳，然后它才能变成大只的。So in order to changing the exoskeleton, the process is called adhesis. Adhesis 这个过程呢，就叫越皮换皮的意思啦。越皮 ，OK， 它必须把它的外皮呢丢掉，然后换一层新的、更大的。更大的一层，它才能长大。所以一夜之间长大了 ，OK， 就是这个意思。Next， and how is the process？ 那过程怎样发生的呢 ？OK， 情况怎样呢 ？So before the analysis process， the insects normally hide somewhere。它躲在某某一个地方， breathing a lot of air。它吸进了很多的空气。They know 了，他自己知道他要换皮了了。To explain his body， 给他身体身体膨胀 ，which causes the old skeleton to be break， 造成他的外壳啊裂掉。So it explains his body immediately by sucking in more air before the new skeleton hardens。So 一直吸进很多的空气，一直吸进很多的空气，给他的外皮裂掉、破掉。So when the old exoskeleton break, okay, the new exoskeleton will be produced, will become out. It 新的一层就再出来了 So they continue sucking a lot of air. 它又在一次吸进很多很多的空气，吸进很多很多的空气 ，to make the body explain， 给它的新外壳呢膨胀，给它自己变成大只。Otherwise, after a few hours， 几个小时过 ，the skeleton going to become hardened， 因为氧化它变硬了，它就不能再长大了。所以给它一个空间，不要去吵它。它在里面呢。It's been da, it's been da. But how to write answer in exam? Look like very long, don't they? Don't worry. I'm going to give you the sentence that shorter lah. Okay. So this is what we call analysis. 老的脱掉，新的跑出来。不要一直呼吸，吸进很多空气，给它新的一层呢膨胀，所以 become bigger. So 这种叫 analysis 脱壳了，叶皮。Okay. Next. So now from the eggs, it hatch, become insta one, 变成幼儿一。Okay, when the insta one get their nutrients, so it become big enough, 足够的养分充足了，整只硬邦邦了，对不对 ？So one day you having the process called analysis, and now the body suddenly grow, 突然间 become insta two, 形状一变就变成更大只的 insta two. And after another few day, normally day 算夜算几天，要不然就算星期 They continue the analysis process and become an insta three. And at least this again become in star four and finally become adult lah. But once they become adult, 差不多了了。他赶快要交配，然后他赶快要死去。So 昆虫，当你看到它飞来飞去的时候 ，they are adult. 它就是那个大人，也证明，也就是说，它不久了，明白吗 ？So it can be ten years underground. 它可能在泥土里面呢，十年、二十年。In star, in star. And one day when it suddenly become adult and become flying. Find insect, and this is the last two months, or maybe the last month of the insect. 好可怜的一种动物来的，它一出来它就完了，明白吗？它没有出来，在地底下可能十多年。Okay, so this is what we call the growth curve of the insect. So the process is repeated periodically until the insect achieves the maximum size. 这样子喽。Okay, so the growth curve of the insect is unique, 很特别的 In the sense that it's a series of steps. Okay, 它是一个步一个步一个步骤一个步骤来的 Why? And the step represents the period in between the axes. 那个 step 每个 step 之间就是脱皮的意思了 Okay, so these these are the basic for you to write the sentence format in your exam. But how is the short answer? <coughs> 讲长的答案写到来才拿到四分，都写得很辛苦了，对不对 ？But don't worry, I'm going to give you a short, short answer, 比较短的答案给你。Okay, so this is the axis or the growth curve of the insects. Okay, 昆虫它长大的那个 curve， 它的形状，它的方式。好的，拜拜。